If your mother or other family member has had breast cancer, does that mean that you will get it too? This is a very common question I get asked. And if you want to know the answer, then stay tuned. Hi, my name is Tasha Gandamihaja, here to help you navigate the world of health in general and breast health specifically. Breast cancer is the commonest cancer that affects women. It is a complex disease where abnormal cells in the breast grow and multiply uncontrollably. While it can affect anyone, regardless of gender, age or family history, certain factors can increase a person's risk. One common misconception is that if your mother or another close relative has breast cancer, or has had breast cancer, you're destined to develop it too. Genetics play a role, certainly. And the common genes that we know about are the BRCA1 and BRCA2 genes. So let's talk about these in more detail. The BRCA genes are tumor suppressor genes responsible for repairing damaged DNA and preventing cells from growing uncontrollably. Think of them as the body's guardians against cancer. We all have these BRCA genes, two copies to be exact, each inherited from our parents. When both copies are intact and working well, they minimize cancer risk by repairing damaged DNA and so the cells will grow normally. So how does a mutation increase the risk of cancer? To understand this, we need to refer to the two-hit theory that was proposed by Alfred Knudsen in the early 1970s. For cancer to develop, you need two hits to affect the genes. The first hit may be inherited or an acquired mutation. So as mentioned, Every cell in our body contains two copies of most genes, one inherited from each parent. In the context of tumor suppressor genes like the BRCA1 and 2, the first hit refers to the occurrence of a mutation in one copy of the gene. Now this mutation can be inherited from a parent or acquired during a person's lifetime due to environmental factors. Initially, Having one mutated copy of a tumor suppressor gene may not lead to cancer because the other copy is still working properly. However, it increases the likelihood of cancer development in the future. The second hit is where there is loss of function of the second gene copy. And this second hit occurs when the remaining functional copy of the tumor suppressor gene is also mutated or lost resulting in the complete loss of gene function. This loss of function eliminates the gene's ability to regulate cell growth and prevent the formation of tumors. And so with both copies of the tumor suppressor gene altered, cells lose their ability to control growth and proliferation, leading to uncontrolled cell division and the development of cancer. So, imagine a scenario where a person inherits one mutated copy of the BRCA gene from a parent. The first hit is where the individual is born with one normal copy and one mutated copy of the BRCA gene. Initially, the normal copy can compensate for the mutated copy's loss of function, and so the cell functions normally. Over time though, due to various factors such as exposure to carcinogen or random DNA replication errors, the remaining normal copy of the BRCA1 gene undergoes a mutation or is lost, and this is the second hit. So now, both copies of the BRCA gene are mutated, and so the cell loses its ability to regulate DNA repair and cell division effectively, leading to the development of cancer. In this case, breast cancer. So the two-hit theory helps explain why certain individuals with inherited mutation in the BRCA1 and BRCA2 gene have an increased predisposition to breast cancer. And it actually also applies to sporadic cases of cancer, where both copies of a tumor suppressor gene are mutated through acquired mutations. Now we know that mutations in the BRCA1 and 2 gene can significantly elevate the risk of breast cancer and ovarian cancer in women and prostate cancer in men. But it is essential to understand that most cases of breast cancer actually occur in people with no family history of the disease whatsoever. 
In fact, only 5 to 10% of breast cancers are hereditary, meaning that the majority of breast cancer occurs sporadically. It just happens, in other words. So rather than a positive family history of breast cancer, actually the biggest risks for developing breast cancer are being a woman and getting older. And so to answer the question, if your mother or other family member has had breast cancer, does that mean that you will get it too? The answer is no. It doesn't mean with certainty that you will get breast cancer as well. I hope this has been helpful and I'll see you in the next video.